Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I make this on my Cricut. So I first start by going into the Cricut design space that I, comes downloaded whenever you buy a Cricut. Um, this program is free to use. I took an SVG file to get this leopard print and what I'm going to take is out all of the secondary colors since I'm just going to be using a single color to make this. You can do that by just um, taking out the layers of that light brown. I then turn it to black and I size it and make sure I have it exactly how I want. But what you want to make sure you do is hit the weld feature so that it stays in that same position. Then I take it on my computer and I let it connect to Bluetooth. After I do that, I make sure that I have the vinyl sized the way I need it to be for the cut. And then I'm going to take my single just cup. This is what I'm going to be using for the project for the project. I got it at Target for about $10 and then once it's connected to Bluetooth I make sure that I have it set to vinyl and that it is paired and I have the right blade in there and then I can let it go. So then once it goes it will take about maybe it took roughly five minutes to let it cut all the way through. I sped up this audio clip to let you see what it looks like while it's going. Um, on my computer, it'll show me a progress bar, so I don't have to be here while it's going, but I like to sit and watch it because it looks really cool. Um, so then while that's going, I usually clean up the rest of the excess product and just make sure that I have everything that I need for the next steps. So once this is done cutting, you're then going to grab this weeding tool. You can see that I'm using it here to try to take away all the excess vinyl that I'm not going to be putting on the cup and then you slowly just pick at it until everything that you want to stay is on the transfer sheet. I then decided to cut out random sections to personalize the cup how I wanted. I just wanted to do the top layer of the cup and having a cup that big and trying to wrap it around a cup would usually bend the vinyl so you're going to want to take little itty bitty sections and cut out all the excess. You don't have to use too much transfer tape when you do this. You can use the exact same transfer tape, which I did for every single piece. And then once I have all of these pieces, I slowly but surely just made sure that I had enough to go around and you just take your time. This took me probably about 20-ish minutes to put each little section and piece on there. It was a little hard at the end to get all of the little pieces to stick to the transfer paper that was losing its tackiness. Um, and then you're going to want to use your finger to apply the heat so it'll stick better to the cup. And then while you're doing that, you just take your time, let it do its thing. And once you are done with that, you can decide if that was enough or, again, you can just repeat the process again if you want to fill the whole cup, which I'll probably do at some point. But I liked how it turned out for now. So I did have a little trouble right about here, just having it stick to the transfer tape. You can see me struggling a good amount of getting little pieces up and then making sure that I had enough and just then going back and filling in little places that I had some blank spaces around the cup and you can see me work slowly but surely and whenever I was done with that you will have a finished product that looks something like this. Well I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you decide to make one yourself. Bye!